Hey there everyone, welcome to the Dr. Beth Westy Show and tonight we're going to be talking about why is my period so bad? Oh my gosh. Um, so this is uh, a request that I got for a video because so many women have had issues recently, right? Um, here are some of the <laughs> things that have gotten worse for a lot of women, right? Oh my gosh, the pain that I've been having is crazy. The cramps, it's so intense, like way worse than they used to be. I actually had a gal, um, this was in the past week when I was on the phone with her, she said that her period cramps are getting so bad that it feels like back labor for her. Yeah, she's like, I had back labor with my second, this is what it feels like, oh, this is awful, why is it so bad? I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, right? Yeah, so that's a big deal, right? Now, if you have more pain in your system, it means you're gonna have more inflammation too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll talk about that. Mood swings, my mood swings are out of control. It's like I get kicked out of the driver's seat and somebody else is driving. I'm just along for the ride. Holy cow, mood swings. I am so crabby and I'm snapping at people and I don't wanna be this person. Uh, fatigue, being completely exhausted. Just totally exhausted. I can't uh, you know, get up, get doing things. I have a hard time just getting through my regular day, let alone have enough energy to work out. I feel horrible at certain times of the month. What the heck? Cravings. I eat crap or I can't eat enough or is there something wrong with my hunger you know cues I, I can't figure it out because I'm not hungry at certain times I feel like I should be and then I need to eat everything in the fridge at other times bloating oh my digestive system is way off I'm super bloated I'm having problems uh, weight gain I have more weight gain now because everything is off in my hormones I'm getting acne right and this is just a few of the things that can happen there can be more right <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, they're giving me more. Ugh. Oh my God, right? So what, what do we do about this, right? If you're like, yeah, this is me. Uh, oh, my, oh my gosh, my symptoms have gotten way worse. What do I do? How do I target this? Here are a few things to really get started with. Uh, first, start eating for your cycle and your hormones, right? If you're like, how do I do that? What do I do? Well, first, I'm going to put this link in the comments here and try not to wiggle the camera too much as I do it there. Uh, eating for your hormones and your cycle is what we teach women how to do in the 12 week challenge. So 12 week challenge, the wait list is right there in the comments. You can get on the wait list, learn more about this, um, figure out if this is the right next step for you. Wait list opens December 18th. The Dr. Victoria and I can only take so many people. So it usually closes within about 24 hours. So you do want to not want to miss out on being on the wait list and getting that opportunity to register for the 12 week challenge. Yes. So there's that. So eating for your hormones and your cycle, that is an incredible way to help your body stay on track and stay on a certain pattern, right? Because why do your hormones get thrown off? One of the main reasons right now that a lot of women are suffering is of the main cause, stress. Stress, your body has been under so much stress for such a sustained period of time that it's just, it's breaking down in certain areas. And increased cortisol actually blocks the progesterone receptors on the cells, which interferes with that. So what that means is essentially uh, increased stress, decrease hormone balance. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. You know, so, oh, I guess I should just not be stressed. I don't know that that's just flip of a switch here for us, right? What's the best action is to help supporting our body navigate through this stressful time without crashing and burning here, right? So that's where eating for your hormones and your cycle comes into play. Um, the second thing is decrease stress, meaning decrease your body's stress response, right? Increase Adaptogens help your body navigate this, make sure you're getting enough fuel, um, nutrients, minerals, all these things, because that's what's really helping your system increase its capacity to handle stress, which means it decreases the stress response. That's the biggest key here, right? You can't change some things in the outside world, but really help your system manage it better. The last thing here is increase your recovery. Recovery is going to take longer and you might need more tools to have proper recovery. Otherwise, you might not feel like you're recovering at all. Well, what does recovery mean? You know, this is your sleep, your rest, your repair, all of it, right? For those of you who feel like, yeah, I've been working out and I feel like I, I'm more sore or I'm, I can't get going again or, oh, what is wrong with my body? It's having a hard time recovering. And sometimes it can be just from your everyday life. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. So make sure you're getting your system everything it needs to recover as best as it can. Now, the other key thing about all of these recommendations is make sure you are applying these tools 
for the female body. There's a lot of info out there. And if you are not following something that's designed specifically for the female body and how that shifts and changes throughout the month, then you're gonna be missing out on the advantages of working with your body. And it can actually make things take longer in your system to come around, yes. Um, if you are looking for more resources, need more information, uh, my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon, talks all about eating for your hormones and your cycle and metabolism tactics, all that fun stuff. And then The Female Menopause Solution, this is also on Amazon. Uh, for those of you in perimenopause or menopause, other tactics listed here. Uh, my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. And then my podcast is called The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that. And I have some amazing episodes coming out um, right now about stress, trauma, uh, and just how to handle and navigate a lot of what's happening in your system. So please let me know if you guys have any other questions. Let me know if you, you know, have a, I wrote down a topic here that you want me to do a deep dive on. I'm more than happy to do that. And if you found this helpful and know somebody that could use this information, please share this with them, right? Once we understand more about how our bodies can work and how to work with them to improve, it's so much easier to move forward in a positive direction. So. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, I will see you later.